Today, we will talk about my computational photography project, single view computational zoom with multi-plane images. Here are some images captured with different focal lengths. As you can say, see, changing the focal length changes the composition of the scene. Prior work called computational zoom allows the user to include multiple focal lengths in the same image through post-processing. The input to the framework is a stack of captured images of the same scene. While they show some cool results, the required image stack can be cumbersome to obtain for an amateur photographer like myself. We introduce the concept of multi-perspective cameras. Once again, we want to include multiple camera views of the same scene by varying the focal length with scene depth. This way, we can have novel composition of a scene that's not physically possible with a single camera. Current methods rely on users to capture an image stack. But can we do this with a single view? In the diagram below, we show two cameras in the short long configuration. The purple line is what we call a dolly plane, or the pivot plane where the focal length changes. This is called a short long configuration because the final image has a small focal length in front of the dolly plane and a larger focal length behind the dolly plane. We validate our method on this configuration for our project. Though, keep in mind that our framework can also be extended to more complex configurations. Uh, here we introduce the single view computational zoom framework. And there are two modules. In the first module, we generate multi-plane images or MPI. In the second module, we warp and blend the MPI to simulate multi-perspective cameras. MPI represents a scene by a set of RGB images where each image shows the scene at a particular depth. Here are two examples. For each of these two examples, we show three of 32 total layers of the MPI, starting from the background and working towards the foreground. This is my dog, Aspen. In our project, we piggyback off a of prior work that trains a network on a large corpus of videos to learn how to predict MPI from a single image. We won't go into all the details here, but definitely check out their paper if you're interested. Now that we have the MPI, we can synthesize our multi-perspective image using the following steps. First, we manually identify the dolly plane by looking through the MPI and visually dividing uh, and finding the plane that visually divide the background from the foreground. Next, we compute the homography to warp each layer in the MPI to its target view by changing the focal lengths and hence the camera intrinsic K. Finally, we blend the warp layers together with the soft blending algorithm ordered from the background to the foreground. Here are some results of running our workflow on several different zoom settings. A failure mode of our algorithm is that we still produce this, these artifacts around the dolly plane. This shows that our blending algorithm has room for improvement. We also notice that when the background contains the horizon, it tends to shift uh, unintentionally. We hope to fix some of these failure modes soon and also play around with multiple dolly planes instead of just one. Um, and this will allow us to compose more complex scenes with multi-perspective uh, cameras. Well, hope you enjoy this presentation. Thanks for listening.